Here we are at the Coastal Virginia Auto Show. We came across this nice 72 Stingray Corvette, and the owner is Shane. Uh, hey, sorry. W.L. Amos out of Richmond, Virginia. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. Can you tell us a little bit about your ride here? Yeah, I bought it uh, probably about a year and a half ago, and uh, I had a, uh, a company, ARH Designs, out of uh, uh, North Carolina finish it up for me. Did all new paint, mm. from Mercedes Silver. Did the Scott custom wheels, um, 18 by 7s on the front, 20 by 15s on the back. Right. Small block Chevy engine, probably about 550 horsepower, but it's a driver. It's got uh, it's a four-speed automatic overdrive. 700 R4. Yes. Yeah. And I can drive it just about anywhere I want. That's the Air whole idea. Air Air condition, uh, tilt wheel, push start, ignition. electronic ignition, yeah, yeah. Nice, and, nice, uh, nice stereo system. Look how you have your cutouts here. Yeah, I like the options. So it's got a full roll, it's got a roll cage in it. You, you can't, you got to look real oh, hard wow. to find yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't even notice it. You know, you can run yes, it at the strip yeah. and uh, put the cutouts on it and make it pretty loud, or you can take them off, cap them off, and uh, run on the street pretty quiet. Redid all the interior, new stereo system, shifter, dash, seats. Headliners wrapped the cage up. Did the center cool. console. Uh, rides pretty comfortable. We uh, we uh, put bed liner up underneath of it to keep it sounding nice and quiet. All the uh, sound deadening inside of the interior. Are those T tops too? I didn't know they are T tops. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. So you say it's 20 by 15? 20 by 15. Scott wheels on the back with aerospace uh, component brake setup. It's got a four nine inch rear. Uh, hmm. What size gears are you running? Uh, to be honest, I think right. they're I think they're three seventy yeah, three. They, they went there when I bought it, and, but it's a good highway gear, especially with the transmission. You, you just yeah. it's just as smooth as can be. You got some ghost stripes on there. Yeah, we did the two tone. The original paint color was was a, was a uh, ghost stripe. I wanted to keep it. We just changed the tones a little bit. Mm -hmm. It had a luggage rack on the back. We got rid of that. Yeah, nice but, touch. Yeah, all new all new exterior components, all new glass. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a cool, cool piece, cool driver. I had one when I was backup camera there. Yeah, put a backup camera with the stereo system, the Bluetooth, GPS, uh, all the electronics you can find in the newer car. Definitely rides like a new car too, right? It does drive and ride like a new car. That was the whole idea. All my other cars are kind of high horsepower, hard to drive. This one, you just get in and go and go anywhere you want. Or I could take it down to the track, put the cutouts on it, and run it. Air conditioned on the hot days. Yeah, air conditioned, smooth, stay cool, heat, so, the whole nine yards. 1972, right? 1972. Cool, good. Was that a uh, engine? What year? Or? Yeah, this this was in it when I bought it. I don't have all the history on it. I just yeah, know it's about 550 Chevy. horsepower. Yeah, just Probably a small block Chevy. Mm -hmm. Nice. Then we added the front spoiler. Yeah, the that's front. a nice we, touch too. We replaced all the chrome. Are the rear wheel wells flared out somewhat there? Uh, no, that's all factory. It's all stock. It looks like a wow, little bit. But it does, because the wheels are tucked under. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, that was a lot of work to get that to fit, but uh, they did a nice job with it. Very we nice. added the front spoiler, and then when they did it, they originally made it as a race car, then I kind of converted it back to a street car. All this was manual. The headlights were all manual, but we made them all automated, put new motors in them, made them electric. Yeah. Well, that's like an L88 hood too, right? It is. It's an L88 hood, and this is the stretched hood. So uh, the hood that was originally on it was an L88, but it had the wiper cover on there. Uh, I think it's a lot wow. longer, sleeker look. You put the long hood goes all the way up to the windshield. Right, and gives to it the a cleaner look. Yeah, yeah, it's no cow. Yeah, much better. So, oh wow. Okay, so that's fiberglass, and it's just real smooth. Yeah, so it comes all. It just yep. changed the whole look of the right. car. Otherwise, it would stop here, and then you have exactly. the, the, the cow piece here. It's, I, it's too busy for me. I like that smooth, right. sleek look. Yeah, I didn't see it with the hood down, I don't think. Maybe I got some video earlier, but that is nice. I think I think that the, the uh, most attraction I get is because of the Hot Wheels look with the, with the back It wheels. does look like a Hot Wheel. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's almost unreal, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I love it. I wanted something What's, different. You got All that, the other cars are fat tires. Is that you know? original type mirror? Or yeah, that like is. That's an original yeah. type mirror. I didn't change those because I think they're yeah, pretty looks sexy nice. looking. Yeah, yeah exactly. they're, they're clean. Nice, nice. So what type of shifter is that? To be honest, uh, oh, it's, it's a B and M. It's just a B and M, &M ratchet shifter. It's very shifter. nice. Yep. Aluminum. Yeah, yeah. Like reverse those. reverse manual valve, Bobby, with the uh, reverse uh, lockout. Mm, nice.
And you kept the grills back here for. I did, for yeah. Instance. Keep that, just add a little accent and got rid of the luggage rack they had. <laughs> we had the Definitely. only thing is we had to keep the original back glass in there when they built the cage for the car. They didn't take into consideration that glass pops out. Oh, you wow. can't get the glass out unless out, you man. take the cage. So okay. ho hope it never breaks. But oh. here it is. Well, figure something out, right? Yeah, you gotta <laughs> check out and get a little shot underneath if oh, you can. Man. So, oh yeah, geez, you didn't realize they're that fat. So you got the. Uh, Corvette suspension under there? And nope, this is, uh, it's, it's all been modified. It's a oh, nine yeah. inch forward rear, cool oh, overs. Cool. Mm -hmm. cool over to disc brakes. Mm, sweet. It's a lot of work. Yeah, a lot so of time. ARH Designs out of North Carolina finished it up for me, did a beautiful job. Excellent with it. job. And I bought it from a, a friend of mine out of uh, Chesterfield, lived in my neighborhood. Mm. Mm. So this, is, this is Randy Oakbreaker. How you doing? How you doing, Randy? my good friend oh, Randy Oakbreaker. All right. Yeah, what's up, Randy? Hey. Don't mess him up yet. Uh, Randy's going to be on YouTube now. Dream Goat Inc. Make sure you check it out. All right. All right, thank, thank you, you Rod. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate Have a great day. Good luck thank with the you. show. All right, see you now.